Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can fix your AirDrop if it stopped working on your iPhone or iPad device. So one of the best ways to fix your AirDrop is to go ahead and do a hard restart on your iPhone device. So this will go ahead and remove any temporary glitches or issues that you may be coming across. So if you have the iPhone 6 or later, you can do a hard restart by pressing the home button and the lock screen button together for around 30 seconds or until the device restarts. And if you have an iPhone 7, you can restart by pressing the volume down and the lock screen button together for the same amount of time. And if you have the iPhone 8 or above, you can do a hard restart by pressing the volume up, the volume down, and then also the lock screen button for around 30 seconds or until the device restarts as well. So once you've gone ahead and done that, that should hopefully remove any temporary issues um, which might be in the settings or the networking of your iPhone device. So another really awesome fix is to actually go into your settings. Do you then want to go into the Bluetooth? You want to go ahead and turn this off as well. And then you want to go to Wi-Fi, and then you also want to go ahead and turn this off as well. And this is mainly because we essentially want to turn off this functionality. And then we want to go ahead and turn them on one by one to try and regain the airdrop connectivity. So once we've gone ahead and done that, we then want to go ahead and turn Wi-Fi on again. And then go back to Bluetooth. Turn this one on as well. So once we've gone ahead and applied these changes, we then want to go ahead and try to reconnect to the airdrop. So another great tip you can try is to actually go back into the settings on your iPhone, go down to general, and then go down to airdrop. Now once you're in here, you maybe want to ensure that the contacts for the airdrop is set to everyone, as if the contact isn't actually saved on your iPhone device, then you actually won't be able to transfer any files to that particular device. So in this instance, you just want to ensure that it's set to everyone, and then you can go ahead and try to airdrop again. Okay guys, so another really awesome fix you can try is to actually go ahead and restart the device that you are trying to connect to. So in this instance, I'm trying to send some files and photos via AirDrop to my MacBook Pro and everything seems to be functioning correctly on my iPhone. So I'm actually going to go ahead and restart my uh, MacBook Pro or in your instance, this could be any other device such as an iPad or an iMac as well. So there you have it guys, hopefully one of these fixes has worked for you. And if you've come up with your own fix or solution, please share it down below in the comment section as you'll be helping hundreds if not thousands of other iPhone users to get their airdrop working as well. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.